91 degrees Fahrenheit today. No wind in the shop at all. It's uh, it's pretty still in here. Humidity is kind of low, which is good, but uh, it's still rather uncomfortable. However, I have a solution. Do, 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 do. See, the thing about modern problems is they can all be solved by throwing money at them, which is kind of what I did. I got an outside air conditioner. It flows 3,100 cubic feet per minute of air. It does that in multiple languages with a one-fifth horsepower three-speed motor. Do, do, do. Someone get the phone. What else does this thing do? Mm, it's got a propeller. Yeah, see, it says prop right there. So it's got a fan. Fan blows four ways. Some switches and stuff. Toilet bowl thing. <laughs> Some kind of, yeah, it's a float valve. Uh, I think that is, I don't know, another vent. Yeah, pretty cool. I hope it works. What you do is you fill this bottom up full of water and uh, maybe even some ice, and it's got like a little bilge pump in there. It pumps the water up, runs in, and it trickles down this little filter thing right here. The fan inside draws air in, which is now ice water temperature to air. As it draws the air in over the super cooled water from the ice from the pump, it'll blow that air back out at me, wherever I'm sitting or standing or kneeling or walking or doing whatever, and it will make me not as hot as the ambient temperature. So. Uh, Let's bust this thing out and see if it's gonna work and how well it works. Oh yeah, I was right. I was reading the Spanish side. This is the fill section for ice. Auto fill shut off. I think you hook a garden hose to it and then when this thing, when the level fills up enough, the float will come up and it'll shut off the valve for the hose. I think that's how that works. Pretty fancy. Okay, so what I'm about to do next is completely ridiculous. Probably not OSHA approved, but it's fun and I'm gonna do it anyway. It's gonna be great. Look, it's got drink holders and places for my tools, and it's got little drains. So if uh, liquid ends up here, it can spill off. That's probably not what that's for, but I think it's fun. No wheels. Hey, where's the wheels? I thought I had wheels on it. No wheels. I don't know. The picture had wheels. Oh wait, casters in hardware. Compartment beneath the cooler. Okay, there are wheels. So I was trying to open this compartment and uh, it doesn't open. So I, I follow directions and I look down below and there's like another super secret compartment down here. It seems to have the wheels in it. So let's let's bust these out real quick like and, and put our casters on. I actually kind of like this little hidden compartment down here. You could put all kinds of stuff in there. It's good. I think I'll just put this back, just in case. Yeah. It'll be our little secret. I don't know what I could put in there, but I mean, it's not a lot of space. Oh, it's got a drain, that's cool. That way you can drain your water so it doesn't get moldy. All right, wheels, hardware. Let's see, a little hose fitting, some hardwares. Okay, these two have the brakes on them, so I'll put these in the front, and these do not have the brakes, so I will put them in the back. I don't care if there's a better way. That's what I want.
I have an idea. Do this the easy way. I don't have enough power. Okay, all the wheels are on. And I got one screw left that I kind of stripped. There, click. Okay, let's fill this thing up and see if it works. That's the fitting for the garden hose. Plastic click. Buick backing out. See, it runs and drives and moves. Okay, we need water to the garden hose. I'm not gonna hook the uh, hose fitting up. That is for a constant flow. I'm just gonna refill it through the uh, little fill container thing right there. Um, the way is shut. Here's my business end. Nice. Oh, this is just warm ice, so we can use we can use this to fill. Okay, before we power this thing on, we're going to need to do some scientific measuring. So I've got two thermal meters here. They're both reading, what, 90 and 93, 94. They're close. So one is going to stay on the outside. One of them is going to go on the business end, and we're going to see if we get a temperature difference. Better work. Where's my power? Here, one fan can run another fan. How about that? Okay, pump. Let's fire that up. Pump should be running. That's the fan. Swing appears to be some automated action with these little vents. I don't know if those are running yet. Uh, I think the pump's running. Yeah, I see some water starting to run through this. See right, there's some. Back it up, yeah, there's some water right there. So the idea is the pump is gonna run water through this machine, it's gonna go through and cover this element right here. And as the air is drawn through, it should pull some heat out of that air and transfer it into the water. Because uh, we don't make cold, we only move around heat. Let's fire up the fan. And I see the oscillation feature is working. The little fins are moving left and right. All right, I'm gonna let this go. We'll check back on this temperature in about five, 10 minutes or so. See you soon. All right, let's see what we get. 88. And this one is straight at 90. Recheck number two, just under 88, 87, 86. Feels a lot better. I, I'm sure this would cool off much more with some ice, but uh, I don't have any right now, so uh, maybe later. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for my portable AC 
installation slash uh, unboxing video. Hope you guys enjoyed the short video. If you did, you know what to do. Tap, tap that like button down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. See you guys later.